Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Hooks Gamer here. I hope everyone is doing okay. We're looking at Frostbank 2. It is a, a game that is coming out tomorrow, so I do hope that you guys will get your hands on it. I um, I purchased the uh, the game, actually, the early access of it on the Instant Gaming. You can find the link in the description below. I really cannot wait to get my hands on it. The, there are a couple of things I need to mention, though. So this is my very first time playing Frostpunk. I have seen it being played many times. Uh, I used to watch a lot of it on YouTube. However, I've never played it myself, so I'm quite a, a quite a bit, bit of a noob. Um, we're actually looking at the very first screen. Um, I really like it. I really like the look. Look at the graphics. I mean, I'm playing on a 42-inch uh, monitor here, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's really good. Uh, so I'm even blown away. I haven't really started the game, but I'm already blown away. So I really cannot wait to to get my hands on this. So let's get started. Yeah, it's really good. Ed, uh, yeah, look at the animation, right? Anyway, I won't go into that. So what I want to do is that uh, the settings I've checked, uh, they should be okay. It's an ultra high. Um, I'm also recording in um, 4K quality, so I'm really hoping it'll. It'll uh, be running smoothly. Let's just go ahead and see the story. Yeah, as you can see here, right? So, <laughs> especially for a noob like me, I'm really... Yeah, I'm really, um, this is my very first time, so I'm really kind of concerned about, you know, the failure. But look, I I'm no stranger to kind of strategy games, I presume, but I, at the same time, yeah, the, the Frostpunk, I found it very challenging, and I was always afraid to, to play it. So I kind of want to go easy here, um, if I can. So let's just go ahead and uh, get the prologue going. Um, okay, hmm. so I think we're going we're going to go with the moderate. Yeah, <laughs> the the citizen challenge is where I want to go. I think, um, and this is the the legacy of New London. Stewart. Stewart. Stewart.
I mean, holy cow! It is like the the vis the animation was absolutely stunning, right? It's it's uh, done on Unreal Engine Five, which is the latest Unreal Engine that has been released a couple of years ago, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, I really hope you guys will see it on your uh, monitors the same way I do. But uh, yeah, it's stunning. Um, okay, so we must survive. We've been roaming the frozen deserts for years. Many of us do not remember a world before the Great Frost. Now, another whiteout is coming, and again, you've reached the old machine. Again, we will rely on its furnace to provide heat throughout the season. Uh, in the past, we always made sure there were enough supplies for the next whiteout, but our numbers have grown through uh, y the years. Okay, okay, providing the... Providing for everyone is getting harder and harder. Okay, so I remember the kind of s one of the things that was uh, challenging, I suppose, was was actually the population. So let's just say we must survive. Fight the cold. The old dreadnought remains in pieces under layers of snow, but the scattered wagons still have resources inside. First, we must break ice to reach one of the oil wagons and construct an extraction district to use it. Then, we can turn onto the dreadnought's furnace to heat us. And let's restart the furnace. Okay. Welcome to Frostpunk 2 guys. The game is absolutely stunning. I mean, I'm I'm just blown away by the graphics. You can see the the movement of the of the ice. Uh, well, it's not the ice, it's obviously the snow being blown away and things, but it's yeah, it's just crazy. Unreal Engine 5 in its finest, um I suppose. And look like look how well this this yeah, this looks just amazing with with the rocks with with the snow. Uh, with the detail, um, I'm just stunned. <laughs> like there is just no word, uh, no words can describe it unless you can you can actually see it in front of you. Uh, especially if you're if you have a big monitor and kind of immersive one, right? Uh, I think it's just the way to go here. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy that I've I've I I got the game. Uh, very. Um, very excited to play as well. So let's go and do this, okay? So I have not played the game, so honestly, it's yeah, it's it's gonna be a tough one, but I think I'm, I'll be okay. And uh, so uh, first of all, what we need to do is to get onto the uh, oil wagon to restart the dreadnought, the furnace, right? So what we need is an extraction district um, or the frost breaking. So to break the frost. Uh, we just need to click on tiles, basically, right? So once this is like this, whatever, we just go ahead and highlight them. And let's go... 8 is as much as we can go for. So we go like this. So basically what, what happens now is... There are people that are kind of walking around and waiting for us to construct things. That's basically what's, what's happening. Um, so what we need to do is to create a, a housing district. And I think because we need six tiles for housing districts, I think the best thing to do would be to have it here. So five and six here, I think. Or maybe not. Mm, maybe let's, yeah, maybe let's just for the moment wait um, for the other thing to, to frost the break. That's basically what's what's happening I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these things just appearing mm, kind of out of the blue but I suppose it's it's nice you know there are people there because we cannot zoom in this is as much as you can actually zoom in you can zoom out this much this is as far as it goes and then zoom in 
Like this. Look at the snow, how it's changed. Um, is this completed? Looks like it, I think. It looks like it, yeah. So now it wants an extraction district. Which, yeah, three tiles are needed. So let's go ahead and have that around this. Nice, this looks very cool. Mm, I'm kind of confused with the districts because as far as I remember... There were other ones, so not quite sure what's going on, to be honest. Okay, I think we'll go like this for housing districts. I may regret this, but I think we should go ahead and do this. It's just the closer they are to the dreadnought, the, the more heat they'll get. Look at this construction. I would love to zoom in even further. Uh, but I don't think we can. Left alt e economy overlay. Ah, okay. So that shows you the actual different districts. Okay, not too bad. Uh, so heat and fuel. As in... Four? Ah, I see. Okay, okay. So you have to hold four. And then five materials. Six food. Seven workforce. Oh, okay, that's actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually a nice overlay. I like that. And then a basic one is with alt. And on, on, on the right, as you saw, it just shows you the different things that are covered. Okay, so this is being constructed. I'd love to see it closer, but you can see movement and people walking around. This is so cool. I never thought that this would have been like that. Holy smokes. Um, okay, so we've got 540 prefabs. Uh, 258 scrap. We've got 3,000 people. Holy smokes. Workforce is 1.7 thousand. 1700 people okay now we're obviously lacking food and shelter now food if you let me just see yeah six okay so food this is const construction yeah okay so food cannot be obtained until we get here <laughs> so it's hard to know like, you can tell you we can get down here, it's just how do we get down here? Oil. As the thick black liquid oozes through the pipes, our people rejoice. Yeah, great. Uh, the carcass of this old machine is a testament to the hardships that made us, but more importantly, it's our haven in the storm. It has allowed us to the weather... Oh, to weather many whiteouts. Okay. Uh, and it will do so again. We have oil. We can turn on the fur uh, furnace. Okay. Turn on the dreadnought rack to access the furnace. Okay, cool. So this is completed, it seems. Emergency shifts. Yeah, we won't be getting those. Like, the game is beautiful. Holy smokes. Okay, how do we turn it on? Hey, hey. Just like that. The furnace is on. We have enough oil to cover current needs, but the cold will still affect our people until they have proper shelter. Housing will best protect us from the cold if built in close proximity to other housing or other f or the furnace itself. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, so we're kind of well ahead of it, I suppose. This looks so cool. Look, look at the... But is there, is this an infinite remaining? 50? Okay, so it does tell you. Almost 60,000. Okay. So I suppose we'll do us for a while. Okay. So, I mean, it's destroyed, but it can be used. Interesting. 
Right, okay, so we are now at available 25, unfulfilled 15. Uh, next to each order, order furnace to reduce heat demand. Okay, we need two business. Okay, wow. Uh, no, I'd like to break more frost if we can. I don't think we can. No, we can't. Okay. Uh, we have to construction wagon. Okay. Maybe that's why we couldn't. Uh, wait, I don't need this many. Hello? Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, it's a shame I can't do it here. But I'll do it like this. Aha! Cool. So let's just click this. So you kind of... It's its a predefined... You, you can just build it anywhere. It's a predefined thingy. Right, so we need a housing district. But this needs to first complete its task. I kind of like it, I suppose. Okay. So where is the temperature? Temperature is here. Okay, heat surplus. Okay, okay. So that's cool. Deadly cold. Due to cold something. Oh, 30 froze to death. Oh, okay. Uh, did I not click quick enough on that or? Because I know that there are vents that you need to click on, right? Relations are neutral. Apparently. Housing districts. Again, we need six. That's five. And it needs to be in one go. Okay, so like this. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now let's go ahead and build it. So they can be, you know, I don't think they mind pollution. <laughs> Okay, and build extraction districts. Okay. Again, that's three. It's kind of weird in a way uh, with those districts. I haven't figured it out because I remember before you were building house by house and it was forming... Uh, so yeah, they, they've completely different approach this time around. Those tiles kind of remind me of, you know, like the, the other games with tiles like Civ and... What's that other game I'm thinking of? Very similar to Civ. Yeah, I love it, I enjoy it. I like the little things, little... Mm. Animations, whatever that are going on in the... There's a mu minor hunger but it's growing I think we need to hurry up because we really have little food squatter absence okay and then disease is notable but stable which is increased by ho uh, hunger and cold well, which is okay so this is minus 20 outside, okay. And we're approaching colder seasons. Yeah. Area effects. Gain access to food. We have established some heat and shelter for our people. We must now turn our attention to the incoming whiteout. First, we must frost break to the small patches of fertile soil suitable for growing food. Then, we must store in... Oh, sorry, in easy accessible depots. Okay, we must move quickly so no one starves. Well, already people starve. So, I suppose let's go ahead 
and frost break. So you don't need to click on this. As long as you click on this, this is it, right? And then you just do whatever you need to do. And the, the game shows you what can be frost broken. There you go. And that's the food. And build a food district um, on fertile soil. Oh man, I would love to zoom in further. Yeah, further in. It'll, it would have been so nice. Okay, so let's see this again. Proximity effects. Yeah, eight. From near generator. Yeah, so I mean, there are two districts, so there should be heating one another, I suppose. Not enough heat, apparently. Holy smokes, imagine living in a permafrost. Machines are working away, breaking the ice. Okay, so apparently that's finished. Let's go ahead and have a food district. Okay, so we need three tiles. There you go. But I also would like to have a... F um, a food stockpile hub. Which I think we built here. Yeah, I don't want to lose too much precious materials, but let's see how that goes, I suppose. Mm. It's just, I think, very honestly, guys, I would love to see people moving around, like in the last one. Yeah, so kind of lack that, to be honest. There's a lot of nice animations and whatever, and, and yeah, it's just, where are the people? <laughs> So, like, for 3,000 people, you know, they're all just at home. Everyone's home. Materials are scarce. Okay, we're getting 20. There's only 400 um, available. Interesting. Now, how is that? Okay, so the hub, I presume it's like a, a warehouse, is completed. And this is nearing its completion. It's interesting that, like, how anything grow there. <laughs> Okay, prepare for the wideout. We secured our immediate survival. Now we have to stockpile as much food as we can before the wideout forces us to take shelter. To do that, we need to produce more food than our current demand. Okay, now apparently we are freezing. Huh. Heat is common. Um. So how do we... Two registered as sick. How do we stockpile? Yeah, stockpile hub. Yeah, we do have it already. So it'll be stockpiling. Okie doke. Now, I'm not introducing... I ha I don't see anything about the shifts. We're not stockpiling food. Because... Mm, the demand is unfulfilled. Is this because... Uh, I don't know. Emergency shifts? 
Or what should we do to stockpile the food? Positive area effects. Ah, uh, yeah. But how do you f stockpile it? How, like, how can we produce more? Is my question. Food. Okay. We need food to survive. If you don't have enough food, build more f food related buildings. Food more relating buildings. Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> Can we do more? I mean, I can... Yeah, we can do eight more. Okay. Okay, well, that makes sense, I suppose. So we'll just need another district. To stockpile the food. Okay, so we're really spreading out. Is that a good thing? I wouldn't have thought. Stockpile enough food to serve at 40,000. However, the stockpile can only hold 25. That means we need another hub. Okay, so that was the thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just wait for this to complete. Come on. Uh, oh, you can speed up the game as well. Because I remember there used to be like a, a day and night cycle and whatever. Oh, they are events. Okay. Finon Kel. Or final, I suppose. Well, it depends. It depends who you ask. It could be Finon. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, we might not be able to f without exceptional measures. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's not an event, I suppose. It's just an advice. Right, so we go like this. And we'll go... Where's the hub? Yeah. And then that should allow us to... Because we need... 40 and we 53 weeks so hmm instruct the wanderers to tighten belts how do we do that <laughs> like do you is it here ah that's where it is the hunger okay <laughs> tighten belts. <laughs> this is so cool Take scraps. Relations will wander. Okay, we can actually give back scraps as well. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, so this is now increased it to 40,000. Hey, hey, that meant two um, stockpiles. And definitely two of these. There's no way. Okay, so how many people are working? Oh wow, that employed so many people. Holy smokies. And this will then additionally drain 380 people. Okay. Affecting other districts. But is this supposed to show something, or is it a thing to click on? It's kind of unclear. I think it just shows you if it does. Okay, we mourn those who have recently passed in oil. <laughs> um, as is our custom, we take them to the oil pits. Okay. We gently lower their bodies into the thick blackness. The fuel that keeps us warm in life likewise preserves us in death. No. But death also erodes trust in our leaders. 
Without trust, there is no future. Trust and relations will fall every time people die. Ooh. Okay. Uh, stockpile is ready in 153 weeks. Okay, that means... Resources nearly depleted. Okay, interesting. Against the elements. Squalor. Each day we wind... Or the wind, sorry, grows fiercer. Relentlessly it beats against our buildings, weakening our structure gust by gust. Without raw materials to repair the damage, our districts will deteriorate. The more we build, the more materials we'll need. Obviously, this is the world we know. Well, I suppose I'll give them a promise, but I know that if you don't keep the promise, it'll... Uh, but let's just see... Okay, 120 left. And then that's an oil wagon. Maintenance wagon. Eh. What's this though? Not sure what that is. I don't see that commodity. I'm gonna press C to see. Okay, it's just so it can be changed into something? It's hard to tell. Anyway, that's fine. So, okay, so it's a strange. So the food isn't produced as fast as I thought it would have been. So we do need to have emergency shifts. 116 weeks. 94 weeks. And then 60, uh, 78 weeks. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna make it then. <laughs> so what else can we do? 42 weeks. 51 weeks. Mm, not sure. Apart from just, yeah, getting another one. <laughs> Which is over there. Can we even get there? We can. Exactly eight. Okay, well, let's just see how this goes. Now, apparently there is not enough oil. Not sure why. I'm not quite sure why is this optional. I mean, I don't really feel like there was choice. <laughs> Holy smoke. We've no... um. Okay, the, the bigger we get, the more resources we need. My knees ache. My fingers are stiff. Yeah, they're starving. How are you starving? We're stockpiling. The materials are scarce. Well, I suppose, I don't know, but for the moment, we're neutral. Still. That's an income of scraps. We can give it back to them. Main infrastructure. Build uh, maintenance wagon. Okay. The only problem with that is that we cannot... We, we cannot come here anymore. <laughs> oh no, we can. Uh, let me... Yeah, I suppose that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's just build the district. And another stockpile. Two registered uh, sick. Now, so far no one died. 
B apparently, oh yes, so I see. Okay, so two people are sick, so they're out of work first. Uh, it's just interesting because I remember you needed to build a hospital and whatever. Okay, so now do we demolish this? I think so. Because there's no no more. We've depleted it. Maintenance wagon. Okay, so it was... Oh, it's ready. Is it ready? It is. So let's go ahead and have... Extraction. Extract enough material. Okay. That's another maintenance wagon. Come on with the food. Because we're... We're lacking. <laughs> We've very little people available. But this is being deconstructed, so maybe... Yeah, I think they'll move, basically. So that's fine. Okay, so let's click on this. Ooh, the mysterious symbol. Captain's legacy. One of our frostbreaking crew uncovered the frozen remains of a man in a tattered uniform. His shoulder patch reads New London Scouts, 3rd Platoon. And he bears an obscure insignia. Some of our elders claim it to belong to a military organization, while others argue it has a religious significance. Maybe you have heard of this, New London, before and can settle their debate. Yeah, I, I don't recognize it. Has leaned on either order or faith. Okay. Order to survive. Yeah. Hmm. Where militant squads keep their, the peace. Of z okay. So do you know what? Let's go with the game chooses or whatever happens. The path. Lack of prefabs. We don't have enough prefabs. Okay. Well, that's fine. I see. <laughs> I see. You carry on. Well, there are a hundred, like, so... Maybe because there's no income, that's why. There's another event here. Shocked at the sight of seals. Seals! I can't believe my eyes. That means we'll be fishing. Oh, I really hope. <gasps> yes! Oh, that's a long road before we'll get there. Because you can only get there from one side. Okay, so 41 weeks, so I'm hoping we're okay. I mean... Yeah, we can introduce this as well, I suppose. And that's 37 weeks. Mm. Okay, well... That is what it is. Yeah, so we're kind of making it. I, I think we will be one... There's a lot of squalor going on. Good work. We are now gathering enough materials to ma maintain our districts. Time to focus on stockpiling food. Okay. Uh, so let's repair it. Nice. Just costs material. Yeah, so they're kind of relocated he here, I suppose. It's an iron deposit. It's just I'm not quite sure... Oh no, thirty froze to death. Place of food district in the seal colony. Hmm. Okay, so a food district and a seal colony. How do we do this? Huh. Oh, the wider draws near. 
People in the camp are getting tense. They worry we won't gather enough food in time. Our hunters blame us for ignoring the seal colony and claim they would have been they would have been able to provide enough food for everyone. It's too late for that now. Many elders have volunteered to walk into the frostland rather than the burden. Okay, so they want to go. We have currently stockpiled slaughter the seals. Yeah, okay. Food required to survive will decrease greatly. Okay, if you'll fail... Yeah, I think we will be... Mm, yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> I have a faith. Because I want to find out what do we do here. Place food districts on the seal colony. Yeah, I mean, can we even do this? How can we get there? Because it's eight. And can we do it again? Three hundred workforce. Okay, we can't because we don't have. Okay. So let let's see let's see if we can do this. But I'm hoping we will. We've thirty weeks, so I suppose. I wish I don't know if I looked properly, but. It doesn't say how long the construction will last. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. We've enough stockpile anyway. We will be filled in 48 weeks. However, we will have enough of the 40,000 stockpile for... In, yeah, so it kind of varies, right? It, it goes between 30 and 31. So it's, we're kind of like a week and a half behind, it seems. Right, and let's do it one more time, so we can come from this way. Wait. Wait, what? I need two more. Yeah, let's do it that way. It's frost breaking. Literally on the ice sheet. Now, we cannot zoom in any further over here, into the water or bay. That's interesting. We're still neutral. Look, we're having food, so it's the main thing. But apparently we're not producing enough of this. But look, the game isn't prompting us, so I presume it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it, I think. I think we'll make it. I really think we'll make it. Especially that we haven't sent the elders to the wilderness. Uh, we've no... 140 prefab. Okay. Yeah, the heat will be an issue, but let's just see if we can get to that first. How can we... We could implement this. Disease increased. Let's just see if we can. Uh, extracting... Okay. We we need fire workers and filler for heaters. Mm, yeah. Okay, we'll go with this. I don't know. <laughs> we need to reduce the cold, but how can we do this? We're... Can we get this going? Disease increased. This has not increased. It's strange. Because we've no prefab. This is iron. So we don't need iron. Disease increased. Or decreased, I should say. 
But wait a moment, like why can't we get... Ah, that's where... We can't even build it there. Okay. Well, let's keep at it, I suppose. How is the... Ho oh, okay, by tightened belts, I see. Because we're stockpiling food, so we're... Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. Week 66, day 7. It's Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. We have five emergency uh, emergency sh emergency shifts. Uh, let me just turn this one off, actually, so we don't really need it. Yeah, I suppose it it's not really that helpful. Extraction districts. Nice. Oh, there's an oh, there's an oil wire. Okay, so it was cool to actually come down here. I did not realize, because some of them are kind of just laying around and and they're not providing anything. Oh, that's a maintenance. Another one. Okay, some of them are, some of them aren't. So you need to be careful, I suppose. Which is which? Ooh, I like this. Uh, we will be okay because this is almost finished. The only thing is, yeah, hmm, we may need to introduce another shift. But I really don't know how to balance this out. Like, what do you do? And where are the policies? Because I remember there used to be a lot of them. And from what I see, there aren't that many. You know, th these are the only ones. Are they just kind of simplified? Anyway, the heat demand. Okay. The temperature will drop by 60 degrees. <laughs> no. Quick. We have 17 weeks. Okay, so this is now producing. I think I'm need I just need to introduce this. Because the other shift... Uh, sorry, this needs 140 of them. And what's the current... 25 a week. So that means we'll have it in 3 weeks. And the construction takes forever. Disease weakens. Yeah, I know. But like, where is the hospital? Like, why is the hospital not working? <laughs> the squatter is... Yeah, okay. We're getting there. Oh no, 59 people froze to death. That's a bad one. Uh, one more and I'm gonna turn this off. One more tick. Come on. Ah! <laughs> yes, okay, cool. So we can turn this off. Let's go ahead and build the food district. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Ooh, this looks cool. I wonder if there is a different building for seals. Or I suppose I don't know if it's like fishery or what it is. 
Like seals aren't fish, right? So, but I suppose something similar. Yeah, like what do you do to increase this? Hmm. We're nearly there. I think because I've been watching it, I think it just took two weeks. Or maybe one week. So I presume we can go ahead and... Yeah. It's kind of a few days of a job. Okay. Hey, there you go. So we don't need... Uh, to increase... Anything. Um, let's just see if we can decrease something, though. Emergency revoked. Yeah, I'm gonna turn these off. Because these are decreasing, so there's no need. However, with all the districts, we just have no oil. And we've uh, severe hunger because of it. Now, what do we do here in that situation? Fuel mix. So the demand and the supply is very low. Yeah, we'll we'll turn on the overdrive. But what's the mix? What are we burning for it? Not sure. <laughs> the heat? Yeah, it's weird. But anyway, so as you can see, we just have no heat at all. <laughs> but at least we'll have food if people won't die. How are these? These are still neutral, so they don't mind. But then what happens is that these will, because these are depleting, so we've only three weeks of food. So this can then be dismantled. And yeah, we're doing good here. It's just I don't see iron anywhere. So that's interesting. Why did the game tell us to do this? Reduce coal to minor coal. Yeah, how can we... So where is oil? Here... It's nowhere to be seen. Oil wagon, here. That's the only one. We need... 150 work first, so let's wait for this first to yeah, five days. Then we can dismantle it. Now we wait. We did it. Hello. Perfect. Okay, so we can now dismantle this. And let's go ahead and build our extraction over here. Ah, we can't. And we need 300 workers for this. Holy smokes. Well, I suppose we'll need to wait for another something to fall off. A lot of people are sick. And the White House is coming, guys. I'm scared because we're cold. But at least one thing has been turned off. Yeah, the trust fell. And there you go. The storm has came. Look at this. <laughs> we can turn this on.
Okay, well, we survived. That's the main thing. I love it. I actually liked it. And everyone was thankful we acted fast and gathered enough food in time. The miracle of the seal colony strengthened our hope that our journey, journey will lead to a promised land. Well, and look, our elders survived as well. I didn't send them to death. So I really liked that. And they pumped up. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, okay? I really enjoy the game. I, I think the graphics are stunning. It's just amazing. And we'll keep at it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care and say hoops.